Hello again, it's Nuo Master, and welcome to my first of many redstone videos. Uh, I quickly made a world for redstone videos that I'm going to be doing for YouTube. I'm going to put everything that I do for YouTube on here, and eventually you guys will be able to download it, just to look at and stuff, once I get that set up. Um, this is the, this is what I'll be showcasing today. It's a analog to binary converter. Um, I thought I'd start with this because it's something relatively simple to explain, and it's still pretty cool. Uh, it might look a bit complicated to someone who's not experienced with redstone, but trust me, it's not that hard to understand. Um, so first of all, I'll show it in action, working. So uh, put in 15, and in binary, 15 is 1111, which is that's what it is. And if I do a different one, like, uh, let's do three. And that's three in binary. Uh, four takes a bit. Five. Um, six. Seven. Eight. And nine, etc. So, how does this work? Well, basically, it has layers. One layer for each bit. Each layer looks for, basically, takes, it, it sees if it can take away that number from the number it has here. So, 15, 8, plus 4, plus 2, plus 1 goes into it, so it can take away all of them. So it goes all the way down, cascades through. Is this one saying, can I take away 8? If it can take away 8, it takes away 8. It blocks the other signal from going through. The bottom one, see it splits it in two. It blocks the bottom signal from coming through here, because it can take away 8 that allows it to take away the 8 and then checks for 4 it can take away 4 keeps going checks checks for 2 it can take away 2 and if there's anything left that means there's one left it outputs the 1 um let's try a more complicated number like uh 10 no that's not 10 that's 10 uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's 10. Um, so first checks if it can take away 8. It can take away 8, so it takes away the 8. There's 2 left here, since it's blocked. It checks if it can take away 4, but since it can't take away 4, it doesn't do anything. Since this is this is off up here, it doesn't block this, so it lets it go down to the next one. And in, in this next one, it checks if it can take away 2, which it can, so it does. And then since there's nothing left, there's no 1. Now let's try a different one. Um, let's try 3. These two, pretty self-explanatory, they can't take away anything. So, you go down here. Still can't take away anything from this one, so it keeps going. And then this one, it can take away a 2, so it takes away that 2, outputs it, and since there's still some left, outputs that 1. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty simple. It just sees what numbers can fit into the, the number that you're sending in. That's how binary works, basically. Um, but it, it kind of looks complicated, but it's really not. Um, specs of this... It's pretty slow. Uh, I'm gonna come up with some better designs later. This is just a proof of concept that I made when 1.5 came out. Um, it's also kind of weirdly staggered. It's like a diagonal stagger down. I'm trying. I'm gonna try to fix that as well sometime. Uh, these things out here are the lengths in which it subtracts from. You can also use chests to make these shorter, you put a chest with items in it, 
and a comparator off of that that will give you a specific signal length based on how many items you have in the chest that will also work um, but I just did this because I didn't feel like sticking items in a chest so um, yeah it's pretty simple most of these comparators are just for bringing the signal down uh, it just looks a lot more complicated than it is so thanks for watching hope you learned something I'll see you next time.